Hello, you beautiful people. It is Toothy, Tooth Decay. So we've been promising for a while that we're going to sit down and do a bit of a talking heads bit around our recent trip out to Sandals in St. Lucia. And also probably talk a little bit about the Barbados trip that we did a few years ago because we got some experience from that as well that's relevant. So I've got with me a very special guest today. <laughs> it is Mrs. Tooth. Mrs. Tooth hates being on camera. I'll put a bloopers reel up at the end, folks, so you can see all the times when she started giggling in the middle because she thinks it's funny that I do this stuff. But anyways, so sandals generally then, do you think it's good value? Definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. The first time we went, we got a good price, didn't we? Because they'd literally just opened Sandals Royal Barbados yeah. and we were staying on the Barbados side. Now, I've said in other videos, you know, Sandals Barbados and Royal Barbados, that they are one resort. You you wouldn't know unless somebody told you that you got them from one side to the other. It's not like when, when we're in St. Lucia and you had to get a bus to go to another resort and it's a completely different place. It is one big resort just with the two different sides. So we got a, a really good deal on that. But let's just talk for a minute, okay? It's about value versus cost. So a couple of comments, you know, where I've spoken about the sort of things and said, you know, that they're expensive and people have come back and gone, well, they're, they're good value. Well, value and cost are two different things. They're an expensive holiday. There's no two ways of looking at it, but they are value for money. So we're going back to, to 2018, right? Yeah. Was that when we first went? Yeah. And it was amazing. It, it was. I mean, it was part of your bucket list, wasn't it, to go mm. to Jamaica? Barbados. Jamaica, to go to Barbados. Now, I'd never spent that much money on a holiday. That was in January, January. Yeah, so it's, it's it's right at the height of season for them. And I was a bit worried, to be honest with you. Now, I, I did the math beforehand, and we worked out the, the cost of the flights separately, and then like just a, a run-of-the-mill hotel, and then what it would cost us to eat and drink. And you might have noticed that me and Mrs. Tooth both like a drink, <laughs> which Get is why up. we've invited you into our garden yeah. today to have this conversation. <laughs> we've been waiting for a sunny day so we could have a beer with you. Yeah. And... <laughs> Working it all out, I mean, it came to about six grand anyway for two weeks. So when you look at you getting five star, and it, it is genuine five star, right? I mean, we've, we've stayed at other places that have said they're five star, yeah. and, and I'm. I'm I'll definitely go back. I can't wait to go back. Yeah, and uh, absolutely. And and that's that's the mark of it, right? Is if you do it again, you happily yeah. spend the money again, mm -hmm. then it's, it's worth it. So I think we've been there, what, a day? Yeah. Less than a day. And I turned around to Mrs. Tooth then and I said to her, I know what we paid for. You totally relaxed. Yeah, and, and I was. I, I've been on edge because I'm an arsey little git and I would have had the right ump if we'd have paid that much money and then gone there and it had been shit, quite frankly. And it, it just ain't. It, it blows every expectation. They can't do enough for you. And we had a little hiccup on that, didn't we? So it, that was, what was it we were celebrating? Was it our anniversary? Uh, a year, a year. A year, well, yeah, one year anniversary of, of being together. Um, what's that, seven year ago now? <laughs> <laughs> six years, six years and we've been married three, yeah. just over. So, um, yeah, it was our one year anniversary. So I'd booked up the, what do they call it? The romantic candlelight oh, dinner the on the beach. beach. Yeah. And yeah, that was what, back back then, that was like an extra $150. And we did, um, they went, they said to us, right, go and stand over there and, and they'll come and get you. And so we went and stood over by this pool bar and the waiter came up and he poured us a cocktail. It was a great night. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, about eight cocktails later, still nobody had come and got us and we were absolutely rat ass, weren't we? Um, I mean, you, I've said before, I normally stick on my lagers, you stick on your Prosecco. We know what we're doing with that stuff. Yeah. Um, you know, I might have a couple of nightcaps here and there, you know, like a Bailey's or a, I, I think I drank gin and tonic actually most of that holiday because it was so yeah. hot, didn't I? I had a few beers through the daytime and then in the evening I drank gin and tonic. But yeah, that night we, we got absolutely rat ass. Anyway, then it started pouring down after we'd been hanging around for. But they told hour and us to stand so. in the wrong place. They, they told us to stand in the wrong place. So, me being me, I went up the next day and I'm sort of like, you know, trying to get hold of a manager and the staff on the front are saying, yeah, yeah, someone will come and see you. No one came and saw us and we went back. Once I actually got hold of the manager, he turned around, he went right, he said, look, sorry, we, we obviously can't give you that date back because that's gone, but we'll do it for you any other day that you want while you're here. And they did. And they also refunded the $149. So they basically gave it to us for free. Now, look, in terms of putting things right, I don't think you can say much more than that, can no. you? No. And it wasn't like you didn't kick off or anything. It was just yeah 
Uh, don't get me wrong, I was about ready to uh, kick yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, I know what you like, but you didn't. <laughs> no, and, and, and that's that's because they, they put it right. And, you know, you've yeah. got to give people the opportunity to do that. So, yeah, overall, as a, as a value proposition, um, I think Sandals have got it right. So, yeah, and, and look, Sandals does cater for a wide range of budgets as well. So you, you can go for as little as three days. Look for us in the UK. That's not really something that we're going to do. But, you know, if, if you're in Florida, if you live in Florida, then it's only a short hop across, right? That's like us going to, to the Canaries. It's, it's a nothing job. We've looked um, for when we win the Euro Millions, uh, which we're going to do soon, by the way. <laughs> Definitely. Um, Can't wait. No, no, we, we are. We're going to win the Euro Millions soon, and then I'm just going to become a full-time travel content creator. Um, we'll go off and... Uh, do stuff like Brian and Carrie and, and Matt and Molly over at Dabble and Travel. Yeah. Um, all the all the YouTubers that we actually absolutely love doing the the, the sort of the travel videos. Um, a couple travellers and honeymoon always. There's some some really good channels out there actually. So yeah, that's that's the dream. We well, it's not a dream. It's going to happen. We are winning the Euro Millions and we're going to go travelling full time. Yeah, you can you can make it expensive. You can make it relatively relatively cheap for what you're getting. When we did St. Lucia, that was for a big birthday for you, right? It was, yeah. March 2024. March 2024. It was a big birthday for Mrs. Tooth. And we'd spent, what, 18 months paying for two weeks in the Maldives. And we had an absolutely beautiful place. And actually, that's how we found what used to be called Travel with Justine, now annual travellers. So Justine and Dave, um, a northern couple who do travel videos as well. And that's also how we found Matt and Molly from Dabble and Travel. Yeah, it was, yeah. Because they, they had an absolutely fantastic review. And both of those folks actually stayed in the room that we booked. Unfortunately, then, my job got put down to three days a week. And that that, that was expensive, right? So that, that was like the, the Maldives was 15, 15 grand. grand. Yeah, because we, we'd just done the top level everything premium flights both ways you know it was a big life event so it was a big splurge but we, I went down to three days a week at work and had to pull something back in right and so thankfully because Virgin holidays are, are really good with this sort of stuff they gave us a full refund no questions asked even though we were like a few days over when they should have charged us 30% for a cancellation yeah, fee really good. They, they were absolutely brilliant and as a result I mean we we then rebooked Sandals in St Lucia and we could have got it like a couple of hundred pound cheap if we'd have gone to British Airways but actually I went and spent the money with Virgin because they treated us really well so we rebooked and we were having this conversation weren't we about what do we do do we do two weeks and do something that's similar to something we've already done or do we do like one of those really impressive suites with a butler but don't go for as long we decided that we would do sort of a, a how the other half live holiday. I've already put it on YouTube. Uh, it's, it's in the titles of the video. So look, we could have gone there for about six grand for the week and we chose to pay 10. Don't get me wrong. I'm not blind to the fact that 10 grand for a week away is a fuckload it of money. It is a hell of a lot. It is a lot of money. It well, is. for us, for some yeah, people, yeah, yeah. it's not. Obviously, you know, it's all, it's all relative. Um, I think for, for the average person, now we wouldn't have been able to do that and wouldn't have even considered it if we hadn't already put the money away for the Maldives and got all that back. So the way I looked at it is I was five grand up rather than 10 grand down because I got five grand, but I got 15 grand back off the Maldives on a day. So that, that was that was the way I justified it to myself in my own head. Poor Mrs. Two has to put up with me justifying loads of stuff like that. Mm -hmm. The trouble is I use that five grand that I've saved about eight times <laughs> for yeah, different things. Yeah. <laughs> So we got that sunset bluff room, didn't we? Mm -hmm. And the bathroom was kind of dated. The room's dated. Uh, yeah, but... We knew it, that before we went. It was an amazing view. It was an amazing it, view. It was an amazing view. And we had a private pool. You, you're, you're a bit nervous in the water. Yeah. You don't like other people around splashing around. God forbid if anyone sort of jumps in next to her and splashes <laughs> her. Or I, I don't, I don't even, I wouldn't even consider pulling you under the water. No way. No way. Your life would not be worth living. No. I mean, it was bad enough the night I pulled you in the pub. But. <laughs> <laughs> but to have that and then to experience the butler service on top of that, it was the experience as much as anything else. And I've said this in a couple of my Sandals videos, you know, Sandals is more than just a holiday. It is an experience. It's about emotions, feelings. It's about people. It's, it's more than just two weeks over in 
Lanzaroy, which we are doing soon as well. We are. We are. We are. I'm looking forward to it. Yep. So, yep. so we got that coming up. Uh, we're going four different Canary Islands. One of them's uninhabited. One of them's only got about a thousand people lives on it. And then we're doing Fort Aventura around Lanzarote as well. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. So that was a, a really a, a one-off for us, just to see if we if we wanted to if we would want to do that sort of thing. And I don't know. Would you want to do Butler again? It, it was nice. I don't think it's needed. No. So, I mean, you tell tell me what you think. I think there's a there's we a... had we had a fantastic time in Barbados, and we were luxury luxury level, weren't we? Obviously, we'd never been to a sandals before, but we had an amazing time. Um, we went to St Lucia. We did have an amazing time as well. The butlers were fantastic. If we hadn't had butlers, we probably wouldn't have got any sunbeds in St Lucia. So that's a plus. Uh, we didn't have any problems in Barbados. Whether it's changed now, we, we did go in 2018, I don't know. But I think I'd rather stay longer than pay for the butler service. Do you agree? Yeah, I, th- I think so. So I, I think there's a there's a happy medium to strike there somewhere. And I think it depends which island you go into as well. Mm. So I think where we went to St. Lucia, and you could get the free shuttle to the other resorts. Yeah. I don't think we did that as much because as soon as you're off resort, you lose your butler privileges yeah. and you know that you've paid for them, especially when you're only there for a week. A week. Yeah. Mind you, saying that, I do think if we, you know, if money was no object, I think I'd go butler all the time. Agreed. Agreed. Because uh, yeah. they are fantastic. They yeah. do a wonderful job, don't they? Yeah. And while we're on, we've got to give a shout out to. Garvey, Sydney, and Roger, yeah. you guys absolutely spot on. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, our, our Butler team. And it's probably just worth saying, actually, because a couple of people have asked in the, the comments questions about this. So when you arrive, you're assigned a Butler team. And we had three Butlers, say so Garvey, Sydney, Roger. Yeah. We we kind of needed them in the room that we picked, but then we were up in the Butler village because it's up on the bluff. It's a, a pretty long walk down to the main resort and it's a pretty steep hill going yeah, back at the quite hilly. Evening. Yeah. yeah, so so you, you did need it in those rooms, but it makes sense then that if you've got the butler, you're in those rooms. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so if you go off resort, then you you are you are losing your butlers. That that service doesn't transfer across with you. You've got your free, and that's that. The other thing that people have asked about is tipping. So there's no right or wrong answer to this, right? You don't have to tip. Tips are normally included at Sandals uh, for everything except butlers and the Red Lane Spa. And I kind of figure that if they're not included on those, if they they go out of their way to tell you they're not included on those two specific things then for me that means there's an expectation that you would tip. So we did a a fair bit of research and 20 to 30 US dollars per butler per day is about right. Now bearing in mind you're not going to have every butler every day because they have days off. So I don't think we saw Roger until our third day, did we? No, yeah. And then Garvey was kind of like, he was our guy who greeted us, but then we, a couple of days later on, we we missed him Yeah. um, when he had his days off. I think first thing is decide if you're going to tip, you can do it on card. I, I always think that's it's nicer to do that in cash. You put it in the, the person's hand directly. We got US dollars to take out, didn't we? Yeah. Specifically just for the tips. And then we decided on a day-by-day basis. We didn't tip up front and we've got other friends who go to Sandals. Yeah, no, we did We did tell them that we was going to pay them at the end. Tip them at the of end of the, the week. week. If you get into the habit of tipping daily or tipping up front and then you don't get good service, then it could be a bit embarrassing if all of a sudden then you don't tip because it almost feels like you're saying, Saying, well, you haven't done well enough yeah. today, therefore I'm not tipping you, which can kind of, I don't know, it leaves a little bit of a sour taste mm-hmm. in my mouth because it, it feels then maybe a little bit petty. Whereas actually, if you tip at the end of the week, then you can take all of that stuff into account and then work out an amount per day that you want to give to each butler. And we, we gave them three different amounts, right? Yeah. We did also find out what days were going to be their last days so that we could tip them. We did. And so we didn't miss them. Yeah. So we, we asked them uh, every time or each of the butlers, the first time that we saw them, we asked, what, what, when's your last shift? And we made sure that we saw them that day and gave them a tip that day. So if you were on an island where there's only one resort, then I think butler probably made makes more sense than if you're in a resort where you've got to stay at one player all policy in place yeah uh, and that's if you want to go out to the other resorts right and to stay at one player all i did that video didn't i i did the checker oh yes it hadn't really hit home to me that really the only three islands where that really comes into play are Jamaica, St. Lucia, where you've got three, and then Barbados, where you've got two. But actually on Barbados, like I said, it's like one it big does resort. Feel like one resort. I don't know how that works in in, in Barbados, actually. Will, will they actually, will the butlers cross over? 
You don't know. Because there will be places where you are on the Royal Barbados side that will be closer, say, than your room. Yeah. So uh, I can't see them not doing it there. But anyway, that's that's by the by. Don't know the answer to that. I don't know, but with the Barbados, we didn't have a butler at Barbados, and I don't feel like we missed out on anything. Do you? No, in fact, I'd, al I'd almost go as far to say, I think we got involved more mm. in Barbados. Yeah. Because we didn't have, we had a lovely room, don't get me wrong, but we didn't have a private pool. And therefore, if we wanted to go swimming, we had to go out. We were using the smoking area there. Mm -hmm. We met some some really nice folks from, from the States. Yeah. Um, who we've been out to visit since. Just got on well with, with loads of people. And I, f I think, you know, the, the buffet restaurant, I mean, when we were in St. Lucia, we didn't do the buffet restaurant until the until last day. Until the last day, day yeah. yeah. And oh, it was did really we miss good. out? Yeah, we, it was we so did. And I think that's because we were ordering food to the room. Mm -hmm. uh, we were going to Armando's, which is right opposite us for breakfast. And that was the sort of a la carte uh, option for breakfast. But we didn't go down to the buffet. Now we did the buffet almost every day in Barbados. Yeah, we uh, did eat in the restaurants as well. Oh, of an, of an evening, yeah, yeah but certainly but for, during for the day, lunch or we've breakfast. Done the buffet. Yeah, so let's talk about food then. So when we were in Barbados, there was loads of little snacky options, weren't there? So yeah. you had the restaurants staggered over the day. So you could always go and get a sit down or a takeaway pizza. But then they had the jerk chicken shack as well. They also had the hot dog stand. You could get ice creams out of the, yeah. the Cafe de Paris as well. We had crepes in there one day. The cakes, uh, the, cakes the little well. cakes all day. I, I mean, <laughs> I put on a stone in the first week, didn't I? Yeah, we did. I was I was a fair bit slimmer back then. We had to go out shopping to get him some more trousers that we, would fit him. We did for the, the restaurants that needed it. The, the trousers that I took over with me didn't fit by the second <laughs> week. I was terrible. I was having like four or five cakes for breakfast. I was like, I was literally like a fat kid in a, in a sweet shop. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah, you've got to got to watch out for that as well. But uh, the the, the, the point food is, was amazing yeah. there as well, wasn't it? it and was you lovely. were you were never far from somewhere to grab something to eat or drink if you mm -hmm. wanted it. The pub was good there as well, wasn't it? The pub was fantastic. Yeah, really good. Um, what was it called? The monk sunk about a monkey. Drunken monkey, merry monkey, merry monkey, merry monkey. So yeah, and I mean we we ate in that pub a few times. We had the ribeye there, didn't we? Mm -hmm. And and of course then you've also got Butch's Chop House there, where that I, was really good. Oh, it was out this world. It's first first time I'd ever had Wagyu steak you know that that was an, an out and out now funny enough the three that we didn't do there neither of us like sushi do we so no. soy is never going to be one for us we didn't do the Indian while we were there and I think that was more probably around about the heat yeah I think so you know you just couldn't couldn't uh, don't get me wrong I've been to Goa and I've eaten curry in the heat I couldn't do curry while we were over there it just wasn't what I wanted and we didn't do kimonos that time and I think probably our palates on Asian food have changed a little yeah. bit since then so we did do kimonos while we were in St. I really Lucia. enjoyed kimonos in St. Lucia really enjoyed it it's a great evening it's a theatre experience as much as a meal isn't yeah, it yeah but the food was good too it was the food was really good and it, it was nice because we, 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 you sit around with other people mm. and, and you naturally start talking. Um, it, it's, it is an experience. Mm. And yeah, I, and the, the food, there's so much food. I mean, I had the steak and then I could eat a couple of bits of the chicken. Uh, I'm, not a, I'm not a fish or a, a seafood fan, so I, I didn't really go for much after that. I but, did. The seafood was lovely. Yes, Mrs. Took loves a bit of seafood. But it, it was too much, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I was stuffed by the time I come out of there. I couldn't yeah. eat it all. No. Too much. Yeah, uh, and I, I, I think there, there is that with sandals as well, isn't it? I mean, we had, when we went to the French restaurant in Barbados, and I said to the lady when she was taking my order, I can't decide between this and mm. that. And she will just have both, sir. You know, sandals don't scrimp and scrape on that stuff. You have as much as you want, when you want. The, there's no questions asked. I mean, if you look at the Grands, we, we were over there a couple of times, weren't we, while we were in St. Lucia. Yeah. They had the jerk chicken shack mm -hmm. and they had the, the pizza place and they we had the pub. We didn't eat over there, did we? Mm. No. We ate at Halcyon Beach. We had lunch at Halcyon Beach. Yeah. We went over to, went to the Grand, Grand for dinner um, another night. And I guess what I found with Halcyon Beach and... I did get a couple of arsey comments saying, oh, you've only done a third of the resort, uh, a third of the resort. Well, it weren't a third of the resort because we covered all the restaurants except kimono and soy. And you know that they've got a kimono and soy there and we covered kimono and soy as a 
as a brand and we covered two of the pools but one of the things that when I'm out and about filming I'm always really conscious of other people yeah I don't want a camera poked in my face and yeah so and I, I wouldn't want someone poking a camera in my face no like and he's doing now <laughs> I'm not poking it in your face you're looking at it it's <laughs> over there it's all the way down the end of the table fuck's sake woman oh we do try and be a little bit discreet and sometimes that means that we're going to rely on the map a little bit to tell you what else is around there you know the swim up pool um and the crystal lagoon at halcyon we didn't go around there because it's it's all well, just around where people's yeah, rooms are there, yeah. and just they didn't feel the need to do that no. and look there are plenty of travel agent videos out there as well right what we're, what we're really doing is saying if you go on a day trip here here's the things that you're likely to see mm. So, yeah, you're not going to go in someone's swim up pool. No. And there was another really shitty comment on there that I took off and banned the person from the site, uh, from the, the channel, because I only want nice people on our channel. <laughs> 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 we wanted, wanted to be a nice community. Um, who turned around and said, oh, it's not, it's not a bloody swim up pool, it's a pool that everybody can use, but they're right next to the swim ups. Yeah. And, and so you we know, we didn't want to intrude. No, we didn't want to intrude, and you know there was plenty around there. So, so I guess in terms of the the, the food there at House and Beach, there were six restaurants there. They haven't got a jerk chicken shack. They haven't got a pub. And I will just quickly look on my phone because I'm old and I can't remember this stuff. So they've got a kimono, a soy. They've got the little bistro that we ate at on the beach. Yeah. So if you have a look at our day trip to House and Beach video, uh, you'll see us eating there. They've got a Bayside, which is like Neptune's at other resorts. They've got Got Mario's, the Italian restaurant, and then they've got Kelly's Dockside, which is the over the water restaurant. When you go to the Grand, then, so you've got Gordon's over the water at the Grand, and you've got the jerk chicken shack, and you've got the pub, the pizza, and the pizza. And then when you go back to Regency La Toc, you've got the pizzeria and you've got the pub, but again, no jerk chicken, uh, no hot dogs, no nothing, like, no nothing like that. I guess the thing is in Regency La Toc, there were areas you could get away from the main crowd and still be close to something to eat and drink. Yeah. In There was something all the way around, wasn't yeah. there? All the way. Yeah. You, you you were never lacking. I mean, you had Armando's and the Sunset Bar up on the bluff, and then you came down, and halfway down, you had kimonos and soy, and then you walked down a little bit further, and then you had those little steps that cut through down to the middle pool, the Pitons pool. Yeah, so and, you had Pitons. Yeah, and you, you had, had Herbie's, Herbie's Bar there as well. Yeah. Uh, and, and yeah, you had Neptune's. The, um, Dino's Pizzeria. Can't remember pavilion. what this. Yeah, the Pavilion. Pavilion as well. Yeah. Yeah, so there was all... Uh, yeah. Uh, not far you, away and, from each other. Yeah, and you had the bar at the Pavilion. Yeah, I just felt it was all too spaced out at Halcyon. Even though it's nice. Um, it just felt but, like there was nothing there. Yeah, because there were only six places. Kimonos and Soya right over the back uh, of the, the resort. Yeah. Um, round a bit that we got told off for not going to. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? Uh, well, exactly. Um, the, yeah, life of a, an amateur YouTuber. <laughs> so you really had four restaurant -y bar things in the, in the main resort in Halcyon. And it, it didn't feel like you could get away from anything. Unless, like, like I said, you were staying there. Or maybe, do you know what? Maybe you're, you're the kind of people, because this is just us, right? Maybe you're the kind yeah, of people. Yeah, it's just our opinion. Yeah, you, you, and, and that's the point, right? All we can do is give you a bit of information. You make your own minds up about mm. this stuff. But it may well be that you go over there for a day trip and you're really comfortable to go round to the Crystal Lagoon pool. That, that just wasn't us. The gardens are lovely there. And they've got loads of little different bits to sit at. Yeah, beds and nothing balls. around it. Yeah, beds, beds and, and balls. balls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't get that, you just have to go and have a look at the house in Beach Day Trip. It all makes sense. But there was, wasn't there? There was loads of stuff and then at the Grand I mean the Grand was was absolutely stunning along the beach yeah the it, Grand was similar to Barbados yeah I still prefer Barbados yeah that is my favorite yeah we are without a shadow of a doubt out of the let's, I mean let's call it we've been to four yeah we've visited four we stayed at two yeah well technically we've been to five because of the, the Royal Barbados but I'm still only going to include Barbados yeah. as one so we've been to four stayed at two and Barbados for me still still wins oh, out. Oh, amazing. I've never been anywhere like it. And we, we The would, service was great. Everything was brilliant, weren't it? Yeah. The food. And we were just saying in our fag break, actually, that, you know, we're, we're a little bit scared to go back there just in case it isn't as good. You know, so, yeah. sometimes you're better off leaving your memories as your memories rather than overwriting them with fresh things. Yeah, because oh, after two weeks, we still weren't ready to come home, were we? No, we've never been like that on holiday. No. Neither of us seen no. separately throughout our lives or once we got together. Normally, 
if we go somewhere for two weeks, normally by the two weeks we're ready to come home. Yeah, even before the two weeks are up. But yeah. Barbados, we could have stayed, didn't uh, we? Yeah. What did we do in Cape Verde? Did we do 10 days or did Maybe. we do a fortnight? No, we didn't do two. We either, I think we've done 10 days. It was yeah. either seven or 10 days, certainly not two weeks. Two weeks would be too much. We've been there. a couple of times, didn't we? I think we yeah. did one one time we did a week and another time I think we did 10 days. And by the 10th day, by, by day eight, yeah, you're nine, ready to come I, home. I wanted to come home. That was it. You know, I'd, I'd had my holiday and I was yeah. done. So for us to say that actually after two weeks, we, we didn't want to leave. Mm. I mean, we really didn't. And you know what? I, I like the other little things about Barbados as well. Now I don't, I, I can't tell you what goes on. At, I can tell you what goes on at Regency. I don't know about Halcyon and uh, the Grand, but at Barbados they had the the shower room. Yeah. So on our last day, you've obviously got to be out of your room by a certain time. But obviously we won't leave until quite late, were we? So we still went to the beach in the pool and everything. They keep your luggage, and they've got shower rooms that you can use and lockers. Changing rooms and lockers. Yeah, so, you know, that was good, wasn't it? Really it, good. It was, and... Th I don't know if they've all got them. <clears throat> so I, I didn't see one at Regency. No, I didn't. And nobody told us about one. Mm -hmm. But it is nice there, you know, that, that because, I mean, I, I looked at, again, spending the lottery win, I was looking at Maldives and there was one, it was like two or three grand a night. And when they kicked you out at 11 o'clock in the morning, you had to pay for all your beers. It's, it's like, certainly not like that at Sandals. No, you know, Sandals are just like, oh, how much are you going to spend like on a day that you're travelling, just having a bit of extra food and a bit of extra drink? Just have it, you know, it's, it's all it's all in. So it doesn't matter when you leave the resort and you're gone, let's yeah. say you left the resort and you're gone. But just because you have to get out of your room, they don't just then cut all your privileges off. And they're really good. And I've even yeah, heard no, of, they get it so right. I've even heard of a couple of people. I think it might have been Penyak Travel, um, one of the the YouTube um, travel agents in the states. It might might have been them who said actually that even their butler after they checked out still went and got them a pizza. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, that was lovely. Yeah, and I, I don't know if they're supposed to do that, you know, but but they they did it anyway. Yeah, you're probably not supposed to have your butler. <clears throat> but everything else is still included until you get on that coach to go to the airport. Yeah, and, and it again, it just feels like it's a premium product, but they're not trying to screw you for extras mm -hmm. while you're there. Yeah, and that's the, you know that's the nice thing about it. So anyway, like I said, the, the foods, Halcyon Beach for us, and this again, this is personal. You might like the real intimate little thing, yeah. and 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 that's it. I think there's a our friends went there, didn't they, or are going there? Uh, yeah, they've not been there yet. I think no. they're going October or November. Yeah, so our friends are going, but they're going, they're, they're basing themselves in Halcyon because it's 20 minutes in one direction down to the south to go to Regency La Toc, and it's 20 minutes up to the north to go to the Grand. Mm -hmm. so, and uh, they're not going Butler this time. They, they've done Butler in the past, but they're, they're doing it that way so that they're close to either of the other two resorts and they can go and make proper use of all three. Yeah. So for them, staying at Halcyon makes sense in, in that way. I think for us, I mean, we, we we like people watching, don't we? Yeah, that sounds so wrong, but I think a lot of people do. Yeah, 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 absolutely. I mean, when, when, you, when you are a people watcher, when you look around, you spot other people watching people, and yeah. sometimes they're watching you, and then you say, you know, to give them a, a little smile and a wave and carry on. We don't necessarily like to be in the heart of the action, but we don't necessarily also want to be completely out of it. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're quite happy to watch other people doing stupid stuff in the pool. We just don't want to do stupid stuff in the pool ourselves. I wouldn't, because I'd be terrified. Well, yeah, exactly, you <laughs> would be. And I do enough stupid stuff without trying to actually do stupid stuff. So less than the bad and the better. In terms of bars and that sort of thing, I mean, with the butler service, having that call box was nice, wasn't Yeah, it, it was nice, yeah. So with, with the butler, they you tell them what you want and they will load you up a call box and they will book your, your sun beds. Now, obviously, like I said, we, we didn't, you don't get your butler service at all three resorts over there. So we only ever had that at Regency. And the one thing they told us was that they will not book you beds at the main pool. Now, I, I think that's really fair because for us, I mean, we, we spent most of the time we didn't at either. We the main pool anyway, no. but... We spent most of our time at the Peton's pool or on the beach mm -hmm. or on our, our, ter our terrace. But a couple of people said, didn't they? I mean, some people were getting up at like five, six in the morning yeah, to go and get a sunbed bed. because they've been there like three or four days and hadn't been able to get a sunbed. Now, I don't know whether they were only looking at the main pool mm. because we saw loads of free beds, didn't yeah, we, we, up did. at the other pools. Yeah. So I, I think, you know, it depends. You, you, you need you to factor all that sort of stuff in. The beaches then, our beach, we had a red flag most days, didn't we? 
yeah. uh, Regency. And I think the, the one day that I went in the sea when it was yellow, I got wiped out. I mean, look. A you, few you, people got wiped out because I was did. people watching. <laughs> <laughs> With that couple next to us, didn't we? Yeah. Um, he lost uh, his glasses. Yeah, he did. He lost his glasses. And, and then, um, you know, public, public beaches. And a couple of hawkers tried to, what was it? Forty dollars and get. beers to to go and look for them, yeah. but unfortunately they didn't set the contract up right and say that they had to be found. So the guys just went and fucked about in the water for a bit and then came back for their forty dollars and their beers, <laughs> <laughs> and she had to pay them. If you want a beach holiday, and by beach I mean going in the sea, then look, Regency probably isn't the resort for you on the island. And I'd say Halcyon is a bit hit and miss as well from sort of the research that we did. The Grand was really calm, wasn't the it? The Grand was so calm. It was an absolutely stunning beach. No steps, no nothing. You, you're just there. It, the beach is part of the mm. resort. And that's what Barbados was like, wasn't yeah. it? And yeah, the sea there was absolutely stunning. Couldn't knock it. So if you want to be in the water, in the sea, then the Grand is absolutely the best resort. If you want something really nice and quiet, then and intimate then it's halcyon yeah. if you want something where you can choose to be in the action out of the action um and you're not that fussed about the the water but you want the the really nice views i mean we had those those great big cruise, uh, ships. cruise ships going it in and really out really good watching them going in and out especially at night yeah and when when they they play tunes on the horns didn't yeah, they yeah yeah um yeah. It, it, it was it was just it's just something to do while you're sitting there right and it was a really busy little bay yeah it was I think they can only get five or six in there at a time. Yeah, taxi driver was telling us that it's a natural volca volcano. It's oh, the, yes. the peak that's now flooded. So you've got the crater and that's why it's so deep and that's why they can get the ships in there. But yeah, up at Rodney Bay, I mean, we, we went out up there um, on the town <laughs> with the locals. <laughs> Hello you beautiful people, it is Tooth here, Tooth Decay. So we are sitting on a beach just outside Rodney Bay in St. Lucia, doing the local thing. We are in a bar called Rubwe. And this is why we are here. We are here because this ain't no sandals, this ain't no secrets, this ain't no beaches, this is just the beach. And we are having a beer on the beach. Where are we having a beer? On the beach at Ruboy. Ruboy, coming out again from Ghana. You hear me? Him is a murderer. All right, latest potatoes, off your pop. <laughs> that, that was such that a good day. That was a brilliant it? day, yeah. It was. We, we, you know, we they was, were so lovely. Yeah, and I mean, me and Steve had a good few beers. We, we must have had, what, 10 each? Maybe probably like 10 bottles of beer each. You had that Malibu cocktail thing mm. and a, a few other bits. I had a few different things. Yeah, yeah. and uh, all right, Liz was on soft drinks. Mm. But call, call it, you know, even if you just said 20 beers, 20 bottles of beer, and we were sat there for what, about four hours? Yeah. Yeah, and we, we were, you know, happily tipsy by the end, but we weren't like rat ass. No. Um, by, by any, you know, we, you, you're out in a different country, you keep your wits about you a little bit still. But it was 70 US dollars. dollars yeah. And for four of us to sit and drink for four hours for 70 US dollars, and you know, we ain't daft. They, they probably upped the price a yeah, little definitely. bit because we were tourists anyway. But it was still cheap as chips, you know. No, no. And it worries. was a lovely day. It was a really good day. It's well worth going out and drinking with the locals. Yeah, yeah. We we had we had a great time, and we were actually sat, you know, like on a on the those beach. picnic was benches, right on the beach, rice on the beach yeah. in Rodney Bay, with the family from the bar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And that you know they they were all there, um, men and women. They're all there, and, um, and the kids and all the adults are smoking ganja twenty four seven, weren't they? Yeah. They um, was and, and chilled really out good. as anything yeah. we were made to feel welcome we were we were it was like you know like, it's almost like this is our house come and sit down mm. it, it felt like that so yeah no we had a great day doing that we did get a few raised eyebrows when we were talking to folks back at the resort didn't we they yeah. were like oh we've heard about breadfruit lane like, well, maybe you should actually go down there and see it mate because yeah. oh, it, it, it weren't that bad no not at all we, we weren't no one was annoying or no approached us for anything no no all good 
Um, so yeah, you, you, you got you got to try these things, right? So I guess the other the other thing that we've been asked about is getting around between resorts, and they have the free shuttle that goes between all the different resorts, and depending on what time you go, you know they, they don't start until eleven o'clock today in the morning. So you're not going to get anywhere like real early to get a sunbed for a start. You may be lucky there may be beds there when you get there. I don't think we actually noticed that as being a problem at the other resorts, did we? No. Uh, there, there, I think there was there, definitely there, there some were three beds, beds uh, when we got to it, both of them. Mm-hmm. I guess the shuttles felt a little chaotic. Um, you know, it, this isn't this isn't like Victoria bus station where everything's really clearly marked out. Yeah, and us Brits do form an orderly queue. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> and no other bugger does. No. We, we sort of asked and they said, oh, yeah, just sort of wait around here. And then a bus came in. and So we thought that was the bus and it wasn't. It was the one for the Gulf. Mm-hmm. And then another one came in and that it wasn't that one either. That was the one that was dropping people off from the airport. And so then another bus came in and they And they it's free for all. Dive on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally. Um so where where we were sort of the brits were sort of forming an orderly queue all of a sudden that just went out the window i will say brits ain't always like that lanzarote was a, a right pain oh, in the backside yeah that was terrible yeah yeah but rude, anyway. rude rude and then when we went over for dinner to the grand when we were coming back we were getting the last shuttle back and there were too many people for it and so then we didn't know what was going to happen and they said, we're sorting out taxis for you. And so then we didn't know if we had to pay for the taxis. And of course, we weren't carrying cash while we were over there. And anyway, it basically meant they got another bus. Paid for by sandals. Paid for by sandals and, and took got us back. Got everyone back. Uh, so they, they weren't going to leave you stranded. Mm. But just in the moment, it was just a little bit, we, we weren't sure what was going on. Yeah. And, and, you know, it, it sort of, yeah, it, it could be, I guess, a little bit better communicated and organised. Mm-hmm. But then I think that's the nature of... The well, they're they, all laid back, aren't they? It's, so you're, you're, you're on, so you're on them, island time and island mentality. Yeah, there's no problem. They knew exactly what was going on. Yeah, it's just, it's we, just didn't. we didn't. Yeah. All right. So let's go from biggest resort down to the smallest. Then uh, the Grand. Would you go there? Yeah. 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 I've, I've, I think I would too. I, I, I like the look of the rendezvous rooms on the right on the beach. Mm-hmm. They've got they've got some really nice room categories there. They've also got the over the water villas at the Grand. Now, they go out sort of like in a shape, heart shape, I think it is. Some of them, so if you stand and look out to sea, the ones on the left look out all the way over towards Rodney Bay uh, Marina. The ones on the right look back into the resort. I wouldn't want to be on the ones looking back into the resort. What about Halcyon Beach? Uh, I wouldn't want to stay there. It's nice to go. I'd, I'd go back there for the day. I wouldn't necessarily want to stay there. It's too... I don't know if quiet is the right word. Not enough variety. It's, yeah, it's just one end, everything's going on, and then there's nothing going on. Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And and look, that, like like we said, that might be for you. Yeah, just That's not just, for us. Not for us. Um, so, you, like I said, you just, just take the information and make mm-hmm. your own minds up. Regency, I'll go back to in a shop. I would. I, yeah, I'd definitely go back there. If It was all laid out nicely, wasn't it? Yeah. The beach was really nice, even though it was small, but number one is Barbados for me I just can't but yeah agree yeah Barbados nothing can top that at the moment I may find something else yeah but, well we've got uh, Jamaica booked at the moment yeah and we've got the Canaries booked so Jamaica we got a really really good price um, even though we said we wouldn't be doing Butler again we actually are <laughs> only because of it it was a good price wasn't it it was really cheap it was really cheap and I think the reason it's so cheap is they've literally just done the room up. Mm-hmm. So we've got like, a, again, a private pool, but it's semi-private, it's shared right with one other pe- uh, yeah, set of the people. Neighbors. But then it's it's a Ochi, and Ochi is a really big resort and the Butler stuff is at the back. So you, I think they, they almost replicate everything. It's, it's almost like a split yeah, into two, isn't yeah. it, by the road. Mm-hmm. So you need to cut, you need the butler to get down to the beach anyway. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we're, we're gonna have a, a look at that. Um, but th- we're doing it because it's like I said, it's the value for money having the butler is just outstanding at Ochi. So we're gonna try that. Yeah. Right, is that a wrap? It is. Laters, potatoes, off your pop. <laughs> I need a wave.
Hello, you beautiful people. It is Toothy, Tooth Decay. <laughs> It's, it's a holiday like no other, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a biplane going over. <laughs> Noisy fucker, it's bad enough living with you, let alone having all that shit coming <laughs> over as well. That was for your 50th, right? Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> yeah. That's how we found. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> You're right there. Yeah, it's gone. What? I can't take these off the switch. <laughs> Don't put that on there. <laughs> Mrs. Tooth just did a little hand signal underneath the table for me. She's getting good at this stuff, mate. <laughs> Where were we? About going for a week. Oh yeah, we could have gone there for... <laughs> <laughs> I let it out a lot of my waffle. Fag break. <laughs> mm. What? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you stopped it. No, I've started it again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the Mexican way. Yeah. <laughs> Except kimono and soy as a, a, a brand. I'm going to shoot that fucking magpie. You've got butchers over the water. There's no over the water. No, it's rest. Gordon's. Yeah, it is Gordon's. All right. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't necessarily like to be in the heart of the action. What was that? That was just something flying around. Go back there for the day, but, um, <laughs> hi. 